All right, I want to talk for a minute about this sickening article that was in our local newspaper. I'm sure a lot of you out there have already heard of this, but I want to just point out a couple points on this thing. So let me show you about this. All right, here we have the Faith and Values section of our local newspaper. This is Saturday, March 26th of 2011. And over here, we have the Jesuits settle in sex case. Now, why is this in the Faith and Values section? Here's a story about a couple who lost their son years ago. He was martyred. And over here you have the guy writing about the Westboro wackos, uh, which they shouldn't even be giving them people press, you know, whatever. Just ignore them. They'll go away. But why is this in the Faith and Values section? Okay, that's kind of weird. But I want to show you something here, which I'm, we're not going to go over the article. You can look it up online. But I just want to show you something here, just to show you that there are different rules for Catholics than there are for Christians. And yeah, I said that right. Catholics are not Christians. Attorney Blaine Tamaki said the priest who molested Vargas and about 100 other children, 100 children this, this pervert molested, has not been charged with a crime because the statute of limitations in Washington state is so restrictive. Molested 100 children and he was not charged with a crime. That's the power that the Jesuit order has. And it's interesting they keep referring to the order, the order, the order, the order in there. Here's a, a uh, article from CNN Belief Blog. Okay, Jesuits pay record one 166.1 million in child abuse case. Let me zoom in here. It says 470 people were sexually and psychologically abused as children by Jesuit priests from the 1940s to the 1990s. 470 people. But you say, why aren't these people talking? Well, I'm going to tell, tell about that later. But jump down here a little bit in the article. It says, Jesuits are the largest order of Catholic priests and are considered the most educated in the priesthood as they run prestigious universities. And that's not just Catholic universities. They infiltrate Protestant, quote-unquote, Protestant universities as well. Most of the abuse occurred in the 1960s, so many of the alleged victims are now in their late 40s and early 50s, Tamaki said. And again, I'm going to talk about why are these people not talking? I want to say about that in just a little bit. Look at this. None of the 57 Jesuit priests accused of sexual abuse by the victims have, should be, have been charged with any crimes. None of the 57 Jesuit priests have been charged. Are there people that are above the law? You better believe it. The Jesuits are. Next page here it says... Uh, Lawrence was in third grade when the molestation began, alleged, but allegedly by a priest and a nun. It's not just the priests that are perverts, it's the nuns as well, who worked with Je the Jesuit missionaries, according to Tamaki. These are Native American and Alaskans, by the way. Uh, and this is the third largest case, I think. There were two other cases where the Catholic Church had to pay out millions and millions of dollars because they're, they're just molesting kids by the millions disgusting sick. Before he died, Lawrence provided a statement for Friday's press conference. The nun or one of the brothers would send me to the rectory to see the priest. He would give me candy or call me special and then he would molest me. They all did at various times, his statement said. All did. They all did. This isn't an isolated incident either. Lawrence said that he was scared, scared, to tell anyone because all of the boys were told repeatedly that men of God don't talk. We were scared that if we uttered even one word, we would go to hell, his statement said. You know, for a while I just thought it was that these priests were just perverts or pedophiles, forced celibacy, that's why they're perverted. I think it's more than that now. I think it's actually satanic ritual abuse. I think these Jesuits and these Catholic priests are purposefully molesting children. Because you see, what does it create? What did the article say? What did it say here on CNN's website? 
you know, mainstream media. It said that the people were afraid. And it took some of them 40 or 50 years to come out and tell the truth. You see, the Catholic Church is about instilling fear in their people. That's what it's about. It's about, you've committed a mortal sin. You've lost your salvation. You're excommunicated. You're damned to hell. You're anathema. That's the system of Roman Catholicism. It's a system of bondage, of fear. And what better way to scare someone than to molest them as a child? And then to tell them, if you tell anybody about this, you're going to go to hell. And you take them, you put them into the confessional booth. First you get some things on them that, the, that you can use so you can blackmail them. And then you take them in and you molest them and you say, if you tell anybody, you're going to go to hell. You know? But it gets even worse than that. I'm going to tell you why I believe it's true satanic ritual abuse. Let's look at a couple of these wicked Catholic catechisms. Now let me show you some of the wicked writings of these satanic devils. Here you have two catechisms basically for children. This one here is, you know, my first communion catechism. You give this to little kids. Okay, and this is the new St. Joseph Baltimore Catechism. This one is also designed for children. But let me show you here first what a good Catholic is taught about their priest. The priest takes Christ's place. Isn't that disgusting? And you say, well, that's just one catechism. We don't, you know, the Catholics, oh, we don't believe that. We don't believe that. Yes, you do. The ordained priest takes the place of Christ. There you go. The Holy Mass. Yeah, uh-huh. Come on here to the next bookmark. Christ our High Priest in Heaven, the Priest on Earth, another Christ. Interesting because Jesus Christ warned in Matthew 24 about men coming and saying, I am Christ and deceiving many. There's your devil worshiper right there. There's your Satanist. These men are, are just the most foul, most wicked creatures on the planet. What we see, what we should think of. It's not really the priest up there. It's Jesus Christ himself. Isn't that disgusting? And by the way, think of how stupid this whole thing is really. Because the priest just consecrated the host and the wine there, which is supposed to be the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. And yet, their system is so idiotic that you have oh, the body and the blood there, but this guy's actually supposed to be Christ. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. It's not supposed to, because it's a system built by the father of lies. And look at this. The church always does the will of its divine founder. Oh, really? So, uh, this over here, church always does the will of its divine founder. Is this the will of its divine founder? Paying out $166.1 million to hundreds of Native American and Alaska Natives. Is that the will of its divine founder? How do you reconcile this stuff if you're a Catholic? How do, you, how do you line this up? Your church is not legitimate. Your church is not Christian. You are part of Satan's church. And by the way, I should add, if you're a Catholic out there and you're protesting, well, we don't recognize those as being authoritative and all this other junk, uh, right here in the front of both of them, it says, Nihil Obstat, imprimatur of the Archbishop and all this other garbage. This is official Catholic literature right here. Nothing objectionable. So sorry, but you do believe in this, these things. And by the way, it says here in the um, front of it that if you pray this prayer here, you'll have an indulgence of five years. Five years less time in purgatory. And if you, uh, for teaching or studying Christian doctrine, an indulgence of three years. For reading the Bible, an indulgence of three years. So you get the same for studying this garbage as you would for reading a Catholic Bible. Just ridiculous. But again, the system of fear. Even if you're a good Catholic, you're going to have to go to purgatory and you're going to have to burn for a while. Why would you be part of this? Well, maybe because you're afraid. You know, this isn't of the Lord. You know, 
it has nothing to do with the Bible. I mean, the Bible doesn't even teach most of this garbage. It's just, it is so disgusting to me to think of men and even women, the nuns there, you saw that in the article, molesting children. They truly are Satanists. Okay, a lot of people have this funny no notion that Satanism is Anton LaVey and the Temple of Set, Michael Aquino and the Order of the Trapezoid and all that. That's the flesh, okay? I'm sure that they worship Satan in their own little way and all that stuff. I know about them, whatever. But true Satanism is found in 2 Corinthians 11, I believe it is, where it says that Satan appears as an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers appear as the ministers of righteousness. A true Satanist is in churches. Okay? Right there is your true Satanism. This is far more evil than the Satanic Bible or anything else. Why? Because this kind of stuff appeals to people into the millions. There's over a billion Catholics out there. And why are they staying in a system of child molestation and, you know, there are full-grown women that are being molested too and, and teenage boys and things. Why are they staying in it? Because it's a system of fear. It's a system of bondage. And if you're out there and you're watching this and you're saying, well, I'm a Christian, you know, but I, go, I still go to the Catholic Church. You need to get out of that system as quickly as is possible. Leave. Get out. That thing is so filled with devils. Man, you're crazy to go to a Catholic Church. I wouldn't be caught dead in one. It just... The Lord is going to be returning soon. The Lord Jesus Christ. And He's going to be pouring out His wrath on this wicked, wicked planet. Okay, this is so vexing to me to think of little children being molested by Catholic priests and it's been going on for centuries. Very, very disgusting. It just, man, my blood is boiling. And, it, you know, it's just going to keep going on. Why? It's not, like I said, it's not about a thing of they're just perverts and that's just, you know, kind of a thing they get tempted there. No, I actually believe it's intentional. I believe that they are intentionally molesting children to bring them into a system of fear. And really, if they're good Catholics, they believe that it wasn't a priest that did it to them. They believe that Jesus Christ molested them. That's what the Catechism teaches. It's not the priest, it's Christ. Get out of that Catholic Church. And these Vatican versions and things that I'm always attacking... People wonder why I attack the Catholic Church so much. Right there's a reason why. Satanic ritual abuse being performed by Jesuit priests and nuns and regular priests too. Just disgusting. The wrath of God is going to be poured out on Mystery Babylon, which I believe the Roman Catholic Church is Mystery Babylon. And I have a sermon on that on Sermon Audio if you want to hear more about that. God's wrath is coming to the Catholic Church. He's going to put an end to this disgusting nonsense very, very soon. So, if you see anything Catholic, man, run away from it. Get away from it. Bad stuff.